Hey guys, welcome once again to the One Coin Only Arcade Challenge, and we've got an obscure game for you today. We're going to be playing Swap Police, and this was released by ESD in 2001. So we're going to insert our credit here. As always, we're going to see how far we can go, or how long we can last off one coin or one credit. And uh, in this title screen, you've got a choice of uh, two characters. They're both pretty similar. We're just going to pick the first one, the blonde guy. Uh, now what's unique is this game actually came out in 2001, but it literally looks like it was... Uh, designed in like 1988 as you can see here it's a rail shooter and it's one of my favorite genres now I nearly turned uh, my nose up with this game basically just because this is a newer game that seemed to have no innovation then I thought about it again and I thought this game was designed with uh, an old school feel in mind on purpose I think so I thought I'd give uh, this game a chance and uh, it's actually quite fun so you play one of uh, two police officers as you can see and you've just got to rain fury on this underworld crime syndicate and uh, basically save the city get to the end of the game there's not too much to say about this uh, this game is really just all about the gameplay and gameplay there is in this I mean if you used to play games uh, growing up like uh, Rambo 3 in the arcade or Cabal or Blood Brothers or any of that kind of stuff even G.I. Joe uh, you're going to be having some fun here another one another good uh, rail shooter was uh, Dynamite Duke that was another pretty cool game I just really like the genre, it's a great uh, casual game to play when you just have a few minutes and uh, I think these games where you just shoot stuff and not have to think about much else definitely have their place. Yeah. Graphically, keeping in mind what they were trying to go for, being an old school looking game, uh, I don't think it's too bad, I think uh, it definitely makes me feel like that I'm playing a 1980s game with this, which I like. And unfortunately the cutscenes seem to be in another language, I think they're in Korean or something, so that's a bummer for us, but uh, it's all good. Um, how much gold do we got here? I don't know what all this stuff is supposed to do, but we'll just roll with it. So stage two now, it's pretty cool that they've added a world map so you see where you've got to cover every time you're moving on. So we're in some central street or something now. I don't think the sound's too bad, it's kind of got that uh, real distinct 16-bit sounding uh, soundtrack in this. Kind of reminds me of a Genesis game, in a good way. Uh, I don't think the sound is too bad at all. I do like uh, the fact that there's all sorts of weapons that you can collect in this too. There is a big variety, which is a lot of fun. And, uh, crap, it's one-hit kills, and, uh, the first level was actually quite easy, but now I'm starting to get a little bit careless, and, uh... You know what, I've got to give this game credit again, at least they're uh, giving you one easy level to sort of get your eye in. And there's another button, I haven't told you guys the button yet, you've got a shoot button here, you've got a button to throw grenades, and I just worked out there's actually a button where you can dodge some of uh, these uh, projectiles getting thrown at you. So uh, again, a really good control scheme, and uh, this guy handles incredibly well. And uh, no complaints with the controls, the game is incredibly playable. Uh, you'll be able to pick up and play and get straight into this. I do actually like the variety of enemies too. Like, considering it's such a simplistic looking game, uh, there is a pretty big variety of enemies. Like, these ones are repeating themselves a little bit, but there'll be all sorts of, like, bigger henchmen come to the screen with bigger guns, as you can see this one here. It's pretty cool. And, uh, what's going on here? Oh, damn, it's game over. I'm glad I got to show you this, guys. This is SWAT Police. And uh, it's a really fun rail shooter. If you're looking for another one, this is definitely one that's worth trying. And as always, guys, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, support us on Patreon, and we will see you next time.